My name is Lourdes. I have four kids and my dream is to finish my master in social services. My mother is from Venezuela. My father is Dominican. My father brought me here when I was 10. I started working with Chase as a banker. I also was in sales and I used to be the number one sale for six months on the district. Things was going well. I used to get good wage. I had a very good childhood. I was born and raised in the Bronx. I went to Catholic school down the block from my house. We visited Massachusetts in the summer times. Everything was beautiful. And then it, one day I met a man. And after that, my whole world got turned upside down. He was very charming. He was very engaging. And all of those qualities was what enabled him to become manipulative. Life became very difficult. I was in a bad domestic violence situation. He was very scared. It was a lot of stuff going on. And I had to get out of my house. The relationship took a change. And before I knew it, there were things that were said to me that I didn't appreciate, derogatory things said to me, and then it eventually escalated into him putting his hands on me. He would pull out emotions in me to get me to feel sorry for him. And it was convincing at the time. He had, you know, he gotten thrown out of his apartment. And next thing I knew I was pregnant and we had nowhere to go. I had never been outside of that little bubble on East Chester Road. I didn't know anything about the real world. So I took my daughter, we went to the shelter, a 90-day domestic violence shelter. And in that moment, I got a crash course in life. I lost my job. I lost my house, I lost my clothes, I lost everything I had. I need to be safe for me and my kids. To me, it was like, what am I going to do? I had to start from zero. I've left several times and come back several times. I put a lot into that relationship in hoping that the love and care would, would keep my family together, and it just didn't work out. The turning point for me was one day we were fighting, and my oldest son grabbed my other two children and took them out the room, and my heart broke because I said, in that moment, that five-year-old child had more sense than both the parents in the room. And I knew at that moment, that's when I had to really start making ways to get away for real, for real. And I left and I never went back. When I got the wing, they gave me milk for my kids. They gave me um, all baby milk, even infant milk and stuff. They gave me diapers. She was really stressed out. I was feeling like really bad for her. So I was like, let me just help her out, this and that. When I got to my unit, I was able to breathe, finally. They handed me the keys and they walked me to the unit. I looked around at the room and I said, okay, kids, this is it. I remember sitting on the bed, starting to sob, and my daughter came up to me and she put her arm around me and she said, don't worry, mommy, it's going to be okay. And I knew that in that moment, they were what was going to get me through. The three children were definitely um, a handful. They, at times, didn't use objects very well. We were always cautious that things wouldn't fling across the room. My immediate reaction was that I needed to help this family. I needed to make sure that the mother felt secure to leave her children with me. She definitely expressed needing personal time, just time to think, time to put herself together. Ms. Ortiz, okay, all right. You want to take them on trips? Thank you very much. I appreciate it because th those little moments, that first day when, when my kids went on that trip, I actually was able to take a deep breath and just inhale the moment. Having a place to lead your kids that you know they're going to be secure and that you trust. And I know it has 
to do a lot with the way you see people here and the people we have here. The help they bring every time is tremendous. And when you see that, you feel secure. I was able to go to job fairs. I was able to go to trainings. I was able to start my, my college again and, and get my degree, my bachelor's degree, which is what's very important to me, so I can move forward with my life. I had a caseworker. He said, I have a job for you. And sure enough, I filled out the application. He put in a word for me. And the next thing I know, I was employed. The caseworker that believed in me and my children being there for me, that's how I found April. At the beginning, when I got the wing, I was desperate to get a new place, but I wasn't ready. Now, with the help that Ms. Cole gave me, I got my bachelor, I got my credit score, I got my good job, so I'm ready to move out and move forward with my life. My credit score was 200 and something. Ms. Cole uh, helped me on the process to build my credit score, and now I have 700. She's tenacious. She doesn't let the circumstances of life hold her back. And she's really a go-getter. She's really a go-getter. I was thinking about getting my bachelor's. When I started talking to Ms. Cole, she motivated me and she was like, you can do it. She been cooperating with me in everything, everything. She, she even called me sometimes and say, you okay, the kids are okay. She really believed in me. Today, I am a wireless network engineer. I am in charge of a large housing facility. All of the residents have free Wi-Fi and I maintain everything for the service. Once I was able to get into the role, I blossomed. I really blossomed. I'm just the Wi-Fi girl. Everyone knows me. I don't care what other job I ever had. This will be the most fulfilling job because I know that I provide something to my community that is life-saving. Kids are doing great. They've, they've settled down a lot now that we are in our own space, they're blossoming into beautiful young men and women. There was a time that I was homeless, working, going to school, and taking care of my kids at the same time. Everybody has a story, and every story is different. I, I, I have a lot of hope. I see myself doing my master. I see myself in social services. I see myself in something big. Before my father closed his eyes, on his deathbed, he said, April, you are my success story, and that, I, that's all I asked for. And in that moment, I never felt so proud to, to know that that man knew. Yeah, I may have taken a little road to the left. I'm left-handed, so I'm gonna go to the left, but I eventually came back on the right path and, and, and had the life that he envisioned for me. I just stuck it out and I am so blessed with the outcome.